Today I'm going to show you how you can add a professional comment section to your new Google Sites. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Now if you're looking for a professional comment section, look no further. You can use the brand new embed functionality on Google Sites and use a different platform to embed a comment section. Now the platform I'm talking about is called Discuss. So go ahead and open up your Google site. As you can see, I'm in my demo site and I would like to have a comment section down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Discuss, which is a brilliant website. So go ahead and click on the link in the description or do a simple Discuss Google search. Now once you're here, you will log in, sign up for a free account, now when you click on pricing, you'll see there are three options. There's a basic free, plus and pro. We are going to stick to the free offering. So go ahead and select get started. Now, in order for us to add a comment section, I am going to create a new discuss website. So go ahead and click on your sites and new. Now this is where we are going to register a new site. So we're going to just give this a name. Now I'm going to call this a home flipped demo. This is going to be the demo. We're going to select a category which will be tech and then click on create site. Next they will ask you which subscription plan you would like to use. Now we are going to stick to basic free and then we are going to be asked which platform our site is on. Now we are using the new Google Sites, which means we cannot use these quick installs. So we are going to use the universal code. So go ahead and click on the universal code. Select all the code given to you by Discuss. Right click, copy. We are going to go to our Google Sites. Now we're going to scroll down to where we want our comment section to be, double tap, embed, embed code and paste our code. Now you are not done yet. The first thing you want to do is uncomment all of this code. So you can scroll down and we are simply going to uncomment all this and we're going to delete. Now do leave the variable discuss. We're going to scroll down a little bit more and you look for the asterisk and forward slash. You can get rid of these two as well. Now when you scroll down further, you'll see everything else is in order. Now there are two more things we need to do. We need to replace the page URL with our own URL and the page identifier with the back part of our website. Now, where do we find that? Well, simple, you can find that in your published URL. I'm going to copy this URL. Let's paste that instead of this page URL. And very important, whenever you're adding code, you need to put this link in between single quotes. So I'll just show you here, single quotes. Now you also need to add the page identifier. Now the identifier is the same thing but without the first section. So let's go ahead and add this into our code as well. Let's delete this part. There we go. And we are going to click on next. Now, next is going to give you a nice little preview of this discuss board. And because we haven't added any comments yet, this is still empty. So go ahead and insert. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. We're also going to enlarge this. And now we are going to click on publish. So let's go ahead and look at our published website. Click on the view to view your published website. When I scroll down, you will see there is a very neat little comment box here by discuss. Now let's go ahead and start the discussion. Welcome. There we go. And I'm going to post this as myself. Now this comment is now part of the home flipped demo discuss. So when I copy this code onto another page, this comment section will be exactly the same. Let's have a look at what this looks like on an incognito account. So let's see if we can still see our comments. Go ahead and open up your published website in incognito. And you will see when you scroll down, the discuss board is loading. 
here we have our comment left by myself and before I can reply to this I will have to log in using my very own account. But as you can see a very easy and powerful way of adding comments to your new Google Sites. In addition to this you also have extra control because when you go back to your Discuss board you can actually go to configure your Discuss you can change your color scheme, you can change the typeface of your comment section, and when you scroll down and click on Complete Setup, you can even configure your site's community settings, and you can moderate comments. And combining Discuss with the new Google Sites makes perfect sense to create a professional-looking comment section. I hope you found this helpful. I will see you in the next video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it on your social media platforms and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.